reputation for being a bit of a foodie hub. And today, I'm visiting two restaurants bringing exciting new flavours to Norton Street. Creek and Chella is a restaurant and bar that's housed in a beautiful Federation building. Ellen and her mum fell in love with the place after only a couple of visits and recently took over the business. What really made it stand out to you? Uh, the wine library. <laughs> <laughs> um, I suppose the, the great vibe that we got when we came here and just the, the locals, we, yeah. we really appreciate there. Nice. Well, being a local, I like that answer. <laughs> <laughs> The menu here features a European style of tapas dining with charcuterie and cheese cut to order. You'll also find lots of modern Australian flavours on the plate and fresh seasonal ingredients. Ellen, this is one of the biggest share plates you have here at Creek and Chella. Yes, this is our smoked duck breast with ricotta and salted almonds. Duck and ricotta. You have some really interesting combinations on the menu, don't you? Yes, we do. The ricotta gives the dish a great creamy texture and the duck is super tender. Mm. So moist and smoky. Mm. Up next is the house cheese board. Ellen, my eyes were drawn to your fromage fridge, which was incredible. You have a lot of cheeses, don't you? Yes, we have about 15 at any given time and we rotate. Well, what about these here right in front of me calling my name? We have a French goat's cheese, a mafra cloth aged cheddar and a Malara blue. Served with honeycomb and berries for a bit of sweetness. Blue cheese is an acquired taste, but my taste buds are very acquired to this. <laughs> Make sure you leave room for dessert because this incredible poached pear, covered in gold leaf and served on a rich chocolate brownie, tastes amazing. Mm, scrumptious. But of course, it's not just about the food. I can't leave without chatting to bar manager Noah. So it's all Aussie wine and beer? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Wow. And as the bar manager, these are your three favourites at the moment? Yeah, these are the three favourites I'm pouring. We've got a Riesling from, from Tasmania, we've got a Rosé from Mungie, and a Shiraz from McLarenville. Oh, great. OK, well, I'll go for the Riesling. I do love a mm. Riesling. Mm. I mean, first up, I can smell and then taste the apples. Yeah. yeah. These guys champion small local producers and Noah's favourites change weekly, so there's always something new to try. Mm. That's my kind of wine. Whether it's for the food, the drinks or the atmosphere, there are plenty of reasons you'll love Creek and Shella. The next place I want to show you is just a short walk up the street and it's another impressive addition to the Leichhardt dining scene. Golden Gully is a funky small bar and restaurant that's already a huge hit with the Leichhardt locals. Dan is one of the owners, and he wanted to create a place where everyone feels welcome. It definitely gives off that friendly neighbourhood bar vibe feel that, you know, we didn't really have in Life Up for a long time. Yeah, that's what we thought, that this area kind of needed something like that, or there was a hole for that kind of thing. Yes. And the response has been great. There's, we've got a lot of great locals that live around the area, so yeah. it's really nice. These guys are also big fans of Aussie produce, so you'll find it throughout both the food and drink menus. We just kind of believe in supporting independent local businesses. Yeah. So all of our beers as Sydney-based as possible. Same with the wine, same with the spirits. Emma's the head chef here, and she's created an awesome menu that celebrates vegetarian food, but not as you know it. We want the menu to be super accessible to a lot of people. I think that it's not that obvious that it's vegetarian. It's certainly not obvious that it's vegan food. It's funny because some people get scared off when they see vegetarian meals only. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then I think the food sort of speaks for itself. We try not to do many gimmicky things. We don't use any faux meat or anything. We just make vegetables taste really good. Emma also makes her veggies look really good. There are several share plates to mix and match, and we're starting with this epic braised mushroom dish. So the idea is that it's like our sort of pubby steak dish, but completely vegetarian. Mmm. There's some real earthy flavours in the mushroom and the jus. It's like um, posh pub grub, I'd say. Exactly. Mmm. <laughs> There's also crispy smoked potato croquettes, a super creamy burrata cheese served with basil oil and char-grilled sourdough, and zucchini flowers stuffed with vanilla ricotta. Mmm. That is very vanilla-y. Living nearby myself, I am more than happy to call these guys my new local. 